Hi everybody, I pray that all you saints are doing well today. Amos 5 talks about seek the Lord and live. Amos 5 1 says, Hear ye this word which I take up against you, even a lamentation of house of Israel. The virgin of Israel is fallen. She shall no more rise. She is forsaken upon her land. There is none to rise to raise her up. For thus saith the Lord God, the city that went out by a thousand shall leave a hundred, and that which went forth by a hundred shall lead ten to the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. We are to seek the Lord and to live. We are to seek the Lord and humble ourselves before the mighty hand of God. But seek not Bethel. Bethel had turned into a uh, false worship, worshiping of idols. Nor enter into Gilgal, and pass not by Beersheba, for Gilgal shall surely go into captivity, and Bethel shall come to naught. Seek the Lord, and ye shall live, lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph, and devour it. Meaning he breaks out in the nation like fire, and devour it and there be none to quench it in Bethel. Ye who turn judgment to wormwood and leave off righteousness in the earth, seek him that makes the seven stars of Orion and turns the shadow of death into the morning and makes the day dark and with night that calls for the waters of the sea and pours them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name that strengthens the spoiled against the strong, so that the spoiled shall come against the fortress. They hate him that rebuke in the gate, and abhor him that speaks uprightly. For as much therefore as your treading is upon the poor, and you take from him burn burdens of wheat, taking his food away, you have built houses of hewn stone, but you shall not dwell in them. Even though you stole the property of, of uh, the poor, you will not dwell in them. You have planted pleasant vineyards, but you shall not drink wine of them. Everything you stole, and you will not uh, get to enjoy it. For I know your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins. They afflict the just, they take a bribe, and they turn aside the poor in the gate from their right. Taking the rights away from the poor. Therefore the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time, and it is surely an evil time right now. Seek good and not evil, that you may live, says the Lord, and so the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you as you have spoken. Hate the evil and love the good, and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of America. Therefore the Lord, the God of hosts, the Lord that say, say thus, wailing shall be in all the streets. And, and I've, I've given a prophecy about this, about the, the riotings in the streets of America. Very horrific. And they shall say in all the highways, Alas, alas, and they shall call the husband unto mourning, and such as are skillful of lamentation to wailing. And in all the vineyards, in all, in all vineyards shall be wailing, for I will pass through thee, saith the Lord. Let justice roll down. Praise you, Father. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, saith the Lord. Woe unto those that are desiring the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him, or went into the house, and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? even very dark and no brightness in it. I hate and I despise your feast day, saith the Lord, and will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them, neither I will regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. 
take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of your vials. But let judgment run down as waters, and righteousness as a mighty stream. O oh Lord, let judgment run down as waters, and righteousness as mighty streams. Have you offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness forty years, O house of Israel? But you have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch. And that's what we're doing. And Chion, your images, the star of your little G God, which you made to yourselves, making things that are dead, making uh, 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 items that, that are dead. They're no gods. They, they cannot save. Therefore will I cause you to go into captivity beyond Damascus, saith the Lord, whose name is the God of hosts. Let us take heed to all his warnings. Amos is a very powerful, powerful book, full of uh, uh, declarations in prophecy and, and judgment uh, for people to turn back to the Lord. Praise you, Father.